Today I'm going to make this fly. It's called Hemberbomsen. Originally this fly is a tube fly that looks like this. It's a beautiful fly that have caught a lot of big salmons here in Norway. I have had a lot of success with this version of the fly that's on a double hook. It looks like this. And this is what we are going to make today. The hook I'm using is a size 8 Partridge Patriot. I prefer those hooks for salmon fishing because they are strong and they are beautiful as well. So I'm starting with uh, tying myself downwards to halfway and then I'm going to put in the oval tinsel extra small of course on these smaller flies I'm now trying to attach the tinsel on the wrong side of what I'm actually using so you can see what I'm doing but uh, I want it tied in on the side like this We're using uh, four turns maybe, one, two, three, four, and then we're also having a half turn and sliding down in the middle and doing the same again on the other side. That is the way you can make the tinsel go underneath instead of on top, and I personally like that a little better because it looks better in my opinion. So now we're just working our way forward and I'm cutting it here and I'm taking the tinsel now and just going past it. I just want to tie down the first part of the tinsel and going all the way to the front maybe saving four or five millimeters and then go back again this is the part of trying to make it a tapered body so now I'm lifting it all the way up so I can get it back on the side again I do think it's on the side now I I don't really see on that side, but whatever. So the next part is this. This is going to be the tail. It's golden pheasant dyed orange. So they are quite large, but I'm going to strip them down to a much smaller size. As you can see now, it's more suitable. And I'm also getting some moisture on my fingers and just roll back and forth then you're making them really compact we're putting it on top making pressure on both sides and some loose turns almost no pressure at all but here on I'm holding quite firm on each side and I'm just pulling to the desired length of my tail Right, I do think that's okay. The longer the tail is, the easier it's, it's going to be destroyed when the fish bites. So I, I do prefer it yeah, smaller. So I'm using a quite thick thread right now because I want to, to keep on tapering the body. That is what, what I'm doing now. I just want it to have some shape. And I'm quite happy with that. 
and now we just need to do some turns all the way back so we can secure the tail and we'll go forward again and now we're going to do the next step the next step is to attach the unimilar so when attaching the unimilar i like to have the green side in because i'm going to turn this the right way while turning backwards so now I'm going back, 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 back. And now you can see it's going to fold over to the right side. And it's perfect. And then we're turning and remember now that you have to cover all that's black. Having a lot of tension on it, it's important and just keep on turning. Securing it with some turns and just keep on turning forward. Cut off. using unifloss 1x so it's a single strand gloss and not two or three strands I do prefer the thin ones and single strands with the small flies I'm just securing it do use some moisture on my fingers so I don't split the fibers too much when I'm using this floss and then I'll just keep on rolling forward and there we go The next step is to have a little super glue on the thread and just do two, three, four turns, dry the excess glue and cut off because now I'm going over to a little bit thinner thread. It's Semperfly Nano Silk. It's seriously strong and I love to tie those small flies with that thread the next part is to get the tinsel
I have a, a an own scissor for just these tinsel because it's destroying the, the scissors really easy. So now we have a base. The front part, the, the body is done. I do think it's, it looks okay. So now we're starting on with the underwing. The underwing is hot orange fox. So this is way too much bulky and too much underwall. So I want to take that out and just throw that away. I'm just interested in those um, yeah, stiff parts of, of the hair. So this is too much. Less is more. That is so important when, we, when it comes to small flies like this. Less is more, guys. So I'm going to just see if it tapers okay. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I want the length to be a half a centimeter longer than the tail. So I'm tying a loose turn and just two, three, four turns backwards again. Making sure I'm on the middle. And I'm also liking to have one turn behind here because then you see it goes upwards. Actually, I want one more. It lifts. So I'm going now to cut this, this off, but not entirely. I want to leave some millimeters behind because this is what's lifting the, the underwing. Yeah, I'm using now glue, just a small drop. And then fold back and do like this. Do a loose turn and just keep on applying pressure. Make sure you're on the middle, it is now. Then I'm just making a base on the front and going backwards again and there you go. So the next part is the flash. This is crinkle mirror flash. Uh, it's greenish or uh, green and opal I do I think. And just double it up. There we go. Just cut them a little bit longer than the underwing. There's still some glue left from what I applied, so I don't need any more right now. But the next part is the overwing. That is also fox. I'm using black fox. You can use temple dog if you want to, but I do prefer fox on these small hook flies. Taking away some underwall and just checking the taper or oh, it's too much underwall still. The taper is not good so I'm just spreading it out now like this. You can see it's flat, then I'm just taking it up in the middle and fold it over and then it should be okay. I do think it's okay. quite happy with that. So I have only made three turns, so this is not secured at all. So the way I'm doing it now, you could uh, tie it in 
backwards as I did with the underwing and you would get a more lift from that but I, I think it's okay to just tie it regularly now because it's lifted more than enough. Glue and the wing and body is done. Front tackle, I'm using Whiting soft tackle patch with Chica Boo. So now I'm just attaching this feather on the side. Pulling that up and cutting it off. Again, some super glue just to make sure this is getting the the toughest part of the fly. One, two, and three. Like that. Just folding the fibers backward. Two, do you guys maybe another turn? And then securing. Back a little bit. You just have to cut off the stem. Fold backwards. As good as you can. And here you have the base of the fly. Okay, the next part is the jungle cock, the eyes of the fly. I'm curling the feathers a little bit just by using my nails. Put it in place and do a soft turn and one turn, two turns more with a little bit more pressure. I just have to see how it... Ooh. Do you think that looks decent? Curling again. And attaching on my side.
then we're almost done. So then the final step is to use the super glue to really make sure the jungle cock and the head is strong so it doesn't fall off when the first fish bite. Folding back the, the hackle and just doing some turns. So now it's just the, the finishing of the head. Finishing five turns, three, four, five. Okay, look at this.